Hi everyone, it's Keely. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little Q&A video. I hadn't done these in a minute and um, I decided I would switch it up from the slightly more intense heavy topics I've been talking about recently in my videos. So um, yeah, I asked on Instagram what uh, you guys wanted to know about me. Um, and so I picked some of the most interesting questions and ones that are kind of unlike other questions that I've answered before. Um, a lot of the more basic ones, like how long have I been drawing, that sort of thing, um, you can find the answers to those in my old Q&A videos. So, um, to get started, my first question comes from x.pressive, so I'm guessing expressive. Um, have you considered making your own comic series, maybe on a site like Webtoons? Um, I have actually considered doing this. Um, but I'm a really, really long way from being able to do it. I would need to work a lot on my, on a whole bunch of different aspects of my artwork before I feel like it could really be turned into a, into a good comic. But yeah, I've actually been really interested in comic making since I was like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12, somewhere in there. Um, and I made a couple of like really crappy ones back in my good old, you know, anime days. But yeah, I would definitely be interested in doing one in the future. Um... Plus, I don't actually know anything about webtoons, so I would probably have to research a good site to do it on, but I think it would definitely start out as a uh, um, online comic. But yeah, I would definitely be interested in doing one eventually. Uh, the next one comes from underscore Brina.h. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing any of these names wrong, by the way. Um, where did your inspiration for Blue Velvet come from? That is a good question. Uh, Blue Velvet, if you guys don't know, is a zine sign thing that I came out with at the beginning of this year. Um, it was a comic, kind of, not a comic, a, you know, collection of photos dedicated to, uh, like, feminine beauty, basically. Um, I did it all in a Prussian blue and, like, blush color scheme, and I absolutely loved doing the illustrations for it. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear my iPad going off, it's right next to me and I keep getting notifications. <laughs> um, but the inspiration actually initially came from a song by Lana Del Rey. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys know, but I actually really, really like her music and I have for a really long time. And uh, that's where the name came from. But the actual colors, I just basically, I knew that I wanted to make one. And so I picked those colors because they're two of my favorite colors. And um, yeah, it just made me really happy. So I can't say that there's one particular place that the inspiration for the actual artwork came from, but the name for the zine sign came from a Lana Del Rey song. So yeah. Next question is Tea with Shan. Have you ever thought about making things other than prints, like t-shirts, totes, bags, cups, etc.? Um, I have thought about this. I've actually ordered a couple of sample shirts from, uh, I don't remember what the website's called. It was recommended to me by um, another artist on Instagram who's super cool. I will link her below. Um, but yeah, I have actually thought about it and I've been kind of thinking about opening up a uh, Redbubble or a Society6, um, something of that sort, in the next month or so. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that, but I've definitely been thinking about opening one. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, especially what sort, which designs of mine you would like to see available there. Um, because I obviously, I can't afford to produce and distribute all of the things that they can. Um, so, yeah, I've definitely thought about setting up a shop there though, so, um, keep an eye out in the future because you may see some of those things. Um, next question. IBMS Stellar Sphere? <laughs> Um, what concerts have you been to? I've actually never been to a- okay, that's a lie. I've been to one com concert. It was when I was in, like, the second or third grade, and, uh, my class went to the- what's it called? The Arlene Schnitzer Concert Hall in Portland, um, and we watched a classical concert, and that was actually the coolest thing ever. That was honestly, like, the best field trip. Um, but I've actually never been to, like, any sort of, um- concert that is based in music that I'm particularly interested in. Um, I never have anyone to go with, like, my fiancé doesn't really like crowds and 
it's just not really something that he'd be interested in going and doing. So I've never been to one, but I would really like to be to one, so uh, be my friend and go to concerts with me, please, because I need it desperately. Next question from Ava Dean Dre. Oh, it. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't say your name properly. Uh, do you have a reference when you draw girls or do you just invent them? Love your work. Thank you. Um, usually with this one, for example, I had no reference. Um, I knew what I wanted to make in my mind and I knew that I could make it without reference and so I just did. Um, but sometimes if I'm trying a pose that I have never done before, or something like that. I'll try it first without a reference, and if I can't manage to make it work, I will use a reference. But um, the majority of the time, I do not use references. Sometimes when I'm feeling uninspired, I will go through Pinterest and look for photos that inspire me, but I very rarely use them as reference. So yeah, hope that helps. Um, the next question comes from Sun H N Y. Do you feel like you have an end goal for your art, like being a gallery artist or working with clothing brands or developing characters for animated shows, etc.? Or do you feel like your art is more of a growing and ch growing and going process where you do it for fun and make art and business? Oh, make art and the business side of it is more of an exciting plus, but wasn't ever a goal. I hope that makes sense. Um, oh, that is complicated. Um, I honestly don't know. I Due to some interesting turns that my career has taken in the past, um, I'm honestly open to anything. I really am. Um, and I would be excited for anything. All of those things that you mentioned, like uh, working with a gallery or clothing brands, are all things that I'm extremely interested in doing. Um, right now, I'm not necessarily pursuing any of those things because I feel like I need to improve the core of my artwork before I can consider working with any substantial brand or company. Um, but in the long term, I would absolutely love to branch out and work with other companies with my artwork because, um, yeah, it's just something that I would love to do and I think it would be a really neat opportunity. Um, so I don't necessarily foresee a specific end goal with my art, but I do see possibilities. And I'm open to them. I'm absolutely open to them. Um, but yeah, my art definitely started out as a hobby and developed into a business, so um, anything that comes after this is a bonus because this is what I love doing, and I already have that. Like, I already am able to do what I love and make it work for me as a business, so um, yeah, everything else is just a bonus, and I'm ready for the ride. I'm ready for whatever comes my way. Um, last question. What is your favorite color, and do you use any specific color schemes slash palettes a lot, or find them easier to use? Um, you know what? My favorite colors are probably pink, uh, deep red, Prussian blue, yellow ochre, forest green, and when I say pink, I mean warm pinks, not cool pinks. Um, and those are usually the color schemes I gravitate towards, so yeah. Um, I hope I was able to answer some of your guys' questions. I have so many excellent questions that are just sitting waiting to be answered, so they will probably get put into another video because I honestly got so many good ones. Um, I may also answer some in a live stream. I started live streaming a little bit on my Instagram, so if you guys are interested in catching that, um, you can follow me at uh, keely.l on there. Um, so yes, I hope that that was helpful. Um, Oh, I also got asked how I feel about The Shape of Lemons. The Shape of Lemons makes me mildly uncomfortable. I can't explain to you why. Sometimes they're nice and smooth, and sometimes they're, like, ultra bumpy and have, like, really weird protruding ends, and that is not cool with me. But who am I to judge? Because I also am kind of lumpy, and, you know, I don't want to hurt Lemons' feelings. Also, I got asked if I've ever kissed myself in the mirror, and absolutely yes. So, no shame there. Um, so, yeah. Uh... I just realized that I left a little bit of time here at the end, so that's uncomfortable for us both, isn't it? Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I really, really appreciate all of you people who come back every week and all of you who have just found me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff so that you don't miss my videos. Um, like I said, thank you so much. I will leave all of my social media handles down below, like Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, my Etsy shop, all that fun jazz. Um, thank you guys. I will see you next week. Bye.